As part of the event series, First-Hand Information on Economic Policy, the Center for European Economic Research in Mannheim welcomed a high-profile guest speaker, President of the Deutsche Bundesbank, Dr. Jens Weidmann. The subject of his speech, Communication as a Monetary Policy Tool for Central Banks, a somewhat dry title for a fascinating talk on how the statements made by central banks can have sudden and profound effects on the markets. We know that central banks set interest rates and buy up assets, but it is interesting how the financial markets are driven by expectations regarding the bank's behavior. This is a consequence of how banks communicate with the public. This is why public communication is a very important function for any central bank. Take, for example, the words of Draghi or Weidmann, which are analyzed and interpreted under public scrutiny. This just shows how significant public communication can be for a central bank. The high quality of speakers ZEW is known to attract made this an extremely popular event. It's standing room only in the new seminar room. Many of the attendees came hoping to glean some fascinating insight into the world of central banking from the president of the Deutsche Bundesbank. What makes this event and this whole series of events so interesting to me is that it provides an opportunity to interact with experts in the field in a pleasant and relaxed environment. I think it is a very, very good thing that ZEW is able to attract guest speakers of the caliber of Mr. Weidmann so that I can glean first-hand information that is highly relevant to my day-to-day -day work. One of the main goals of the central bank's communication strategies is to create greater transparency, declared Weidmann in the opening of his speech. By explaining their decisions in a clear and comprehensible manner, banks can foster trust among the public that they are fulfilling their mission of keeping prices stable. Clearly, how banks communicate with the public can also serve as a monetary policy tool that can be used to steer expectations. Whenever people participate in the economy, whether as business owners, employers or consumers, they are looking ahead to the future. What this means is that they have to make decisions based on expectations that, in turn, may be influenced by the central bank via public statements. Effective communication of monetary policy can help to avoid market turbulence in a similar way to so-called forward guidance in the evolution of interest rates. With the end to net asset purchases, monetary policy in the Eurozone should begin to go back to normal. How the key interest rates will develop after this and why are important questions that market participants want to know the answers to. At the start of this process, economic development in the Eurozone will likely be more advanced than it was at this point in the process in the U.S. As a result, the first interest rate hike could come sooner after the end of the net asset purchases than it did in the U.S., where more than a year passed between the end of the purchase program and the first interest rate increase. Market participants therefore expect the first interest rate increase to come sometime around mid-2019, which to me does not seem entirely unrealistic. This is a highly plausible assumption to make. In the lively discussion that followed Weidmann's speech, it was clear that the audience was highly invested in the topic at hand, taking full advantage of the Q&A session to engage in the discussion. It is always beneficial to hear and experience figures from the worlds of politics and business speak in person. You get more background information and can pick up on certain nuances that are otherwise often lost. And today, Dr. Weidmann, president of the Deutsche Bundesbank, was another excellent example of this. First-hand information on economic policy was a fitting title for today's talk from the president of the Deutsche Bundesbank at ZEW. As a research institution at the intersection of science, politics and business, and in part thanks to its regular publications, including its indicator of economic sentiment and financial market reports, ZEW has gained a strong reputation across Europe. And at events such as this, it's not hard to see why.